Hello gorgeous people, how's it going? So today I will be doing a review on a new product from Smashbox and I believe they just got it in this week and I'm so excited, it was perfect because I am looking for a new concealer and it is the Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream Eyes with SPF 15. So that's how the packaging looks. It's like a brush tip um, or brush applicator. So let me tell you guys more about this um, BB eye cream. So it says on the Sephora website what it is. An innovative eye cream that features all the benefits of a traditional BB cream. <sighs> I'm out of breath today guys. I'm so excited. I literally um, ran there, ran to Sephora this morning just so I could do this video for you guys. Super excited, so bear with me if I'm a little out of breath. Alright, what it does. Simplify your beauty routine with this do-it-all formula that comes in a range of shades and combines the benefits of BB cream with the coverage of concealer. It fades the look of dark circles instantly and over time. Reduces the appearance of puffiness, visibly smooths fine lines and wrinkles, and improves firmness. It also primes, protects, conceals, hydrates, and illuminates. And like I said, um, this has SPF 15, which is awesome because our eyes definitely need that SPF because our eyes tend to crease or get wrinkles a lot faster than the rest of our face. So there is 3.5 ml and yeah so this is how the packaging looks it's just black with white writing and red writing and it's a twist so you basically twist it to get the product to dispense down and you apply it with the brush tip okay guys so on my left side I'll just be using my fingers to blend it in and on my right side I'll be using my beauty blender so let's go ahead and do that Okay, so first I want to apologize for the little bear that was here. Basically, I use him for my camera, or I use him so my cam camera would focus. So yeah, basically, let me just tell you guys how it was when the concealer went on. Um, I wasn't too impressed with the brush. It's kind of dense, so it's really hard to move around your eye area. So you do, I would recommend, um, you should be very careful because your under eye area is very sensitive. But another thing I found difficult was um, this twisty thing product would not come out and I kept twisting it and twisting it and twisting it. I had to cut it out of the video because it really took so long but um, the product itself when it goes on I do think it dries a bit fast so you do have to work with it. It is pretty creamy. Um, I do think you could have a light coverage to a full coverage depending on how much product you use. And right now it is 12.31. You guys can see. Sorry my phone is cracked. Oh, 
but I'll tell you guys the story another day. But yeah, so it's 12.31. I'm gonna do some major packing and cleaning since we are moving. And yeah, also, thank you so much for the comment on my beautiful background. Unfortunately, I had to change it. I'm sorry about that too. It is now this. I hope you guys still like it. My previous background was more Christmassy. I, I hope you guys still like this one though. But yeah, so I'll be back in a bit and hopefully this works out. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Okay, so I'm back and it is now 321. And oh my god, I'm so full. I just ate like huge salad. I probably should have ate not that much. Anyways, back to the point. Sorry about my little ramble there. Okay. Anyways, um, so here's the product and I have it on still from earlier. I have not touched up whatsoever. Um, yeah. I don't see any creasing, I don't see any fading of the concealer at all, and it still feels super soft. That's like really, really rare for me, at least for my concealers that I've tried. Um, yeah, it feels really nice on the skin, and I do feel like it brightened up my skin. And also, just so you guys know, I to totally forgot to tell you what shade I was in, and it's I'm using the light, I think like on film it looks like it's too light for me but in person it actually works out for my skin tone it brightens up my under eyes so I really like that um yeah so I will check back in a few hours and give you my final thoughts on this product so I'll be right back okay so I'm back and it is now 819 so I'm gonna start off with the things I like I really like how you can manipulate the coverage of this concealer. You can go from light to medium to full. Um, sometimes there's days where I just want to run out the door and I just want a light coverage. I don't want too much makeup on. And yeah, this would definitely work for that. And then if I want to get all glammed up this and have full coverage, this would definitely work for that as well. So I really do like that. I really like how over time it helps with your dark circles, it helps with your puffiness, it hydrates and it protects, it has SPF 15. I love, love, love that. And not only does it do all that good stuff, but at the same time it conceals and hydrates. And I really do feel like it has helped conceal my dark circles and it has helped brighten up my face and make me look a lot more awake. I love the texture um, of how it sets. It's really soft under the eyes. I also like how it doesn't, even if you do go for full coverage, it does not cake up. It doesn't look like you have tons of concealer under your eyes. And I like, or not like, I love how it does not crease. First off, I just want to let you guys know, all concealers crease. Yes, they all do, but some crease more than others. And this one hardly creases. I can see one crease and I've been wearing it since um, I think 12 this afternoon and it is now around 8. So that is pretty good for having just one tiny crease there. So that is a plus 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 in my book. I really like the quality of this concealer. That being said, the cons of this concealer would have to be the price. The price of this concealer I got at Sephora for about $29. I was previously using my MAC Pro Longwear and it was $20 or $19. So there's a $10 difference, but that's not too bad. Like I said, um, the quality can justify it, at least for me. Another thing I didn't really like is the application tip. I wish it would be a bit or it would bend a bit more or wasn't as hard because our under eye area, area, like I said earlier, is very sensitive and it can get irritated just from like pushing on it way too hard. It could get like your cir dark circles could get worse and it's just, you know, you just want to be really careful with that area. So if the brush was a bit softer, then I think that would be a lot better. Another thing that I didn't like was I had to twist and twist and tip twist until the product finally came out and yeah it just took forever like I literally have to cut that like that clip out of this video because otherwise I mean this video would be super duper long but yeah so basically I guess overall what I didn't like was the packaging so if Smashbox ever watches this I doubt it but if you guys ever do yeah maybe just change up the packaging but yeah if you were to ask me if this Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream Eyes, is it a no or a go? I would have to say that it is a go. I really do like it. I do think the quality is amazing. I love how it's a BB cream for your eyes, but at the same time, it also conceals and brightens. 
and it has SPF in it so that is amazing um, the packaging does bother me like I said but I can definitely live with it because I do like the product itself so yeah I would definitely recommend going out and getting a sample of it try it out and hopefully it works out for you guys and yeah comment down below if you have tried this as well all right that's my little review for you guys I hope you guys liked it if you did don't forget to press like and I'll see you guys very very soon and hello again to my subbies I love you guys very much all right have a great day night wherever you are and I'll see you very very soon mwah, mwah, mwah. bye